Hi, today let's see how we can import Shopify products to commerce and we will also see how we can import orders, customers, coupons, store settings, shipping zones and so on. So as in one of my previous videos we discussed that how we can import Shopify products to commerce and by using the same plugin we can also import orders, customers, coupons, store settings, shipping zone and so on. So these are WooCommerce products as you can see and uh, we have the same products here in the Shopify that I have imported to WooCommerce. So if you are moving from Shopify to WooCommerce then this video will definitely help you. So let's see how we can do it and for that you can go to plugins and install a plugin and here search for S2W. You will see this plugin S2W import Shopify to WooCommerce. Just install and activate this plugin this will help you to import the products. And once you activate the plugin you will see another menu here. Just click on that. And then inside the general settings, you will have to write your store address and your access token. In the store address, you can write your Shopify URL. And in the previous video, I showed you that how you can get the access token. So you can click on custom apps and then you can generate an access token for your website. Once you put all these, then you can go back. And here you can select the things that you want to import. For example, you want to import store settings, shipping zone, taxes, pages, blogs, and so on. And if you want to only import products, you can select that. Now the free version will only allow you to import products. And if you want to import all these things, including customers, orders, coupons, you will have to install the pro version. To install the pro version of this plugin, you can just go to the link in the description, which will take you to this page. Here you can buy this plugin. And once you get this plugin, you will get a file like this. You can open up this folder and you can just upload this plugin to your WordPress repository. To do that, just go to plugins, add new, click upload plugin, choose file and then choose the plugin, click open and install now. I already have this plugin. Once you upload this plugin, you will have to activate its license. To activate the license, you can go to Shopify 2.0. Then go to its general settings. And here you can put the license to activate it. And as you can see, my plugin is already activated. Then you can close this. And then you can start importing store settings, shipping zone, and so on. So we don't need store settings. And uh, we need shipping zone taxes. We can disable this, blogs, and so on. Once you select the things, then you can just click on import. And this will start importing these things. Shipping zone completed. And now you can see import completed and you can see we have imported 267 orders, 332 customers and the shipping zone in Texas is also completed. And this one is showing some API error which we will see later in this video. So let's go back to our WooCommerce and we will go to orders and here you can see all the orders which are 267. You can see the status also. Now if I go to Shopify and orders, here we can see the same orders. And same goes for the customers. These are the customers as you can see. We have the name, username, email and so on. And uh, we also have the same here in the Shopify. So this was how you can import Shopify products, orders, customers, shipping zones to your WooCommerce store. So I hope this will help you. If you have any questions, you can ask in the comment section. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next.